And now for our feature presentation. No stone is unturned when you tune into this toy talking too much. This toy talking too much. We talking sex, marriage, relationships, prejudice, politics. Girl. Your rights, my rights, the way that I see, the way how we talk, when we talk real talk, and that's the double truth. Mm -hmm. Say, people, you talk too much, and if you're talking, you can't be listening, but you need to be listening to just toy talking too much, get it? And that's the triple truth, Ruth. Greetings, 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 and gratitude for tuning in to a what? Another episode of Just Toy Talking Too Much, where we talk, we'll talk, we'll talk with you, we'll talk with your friends. And I can be found on www.justtoytalking, the number too much.com. A subscribe box will appear. Go ahead and put your email addy in there for me. You will be updated, not inundated, with emails of what's going on with the website, as well as go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate that. It makes me feel good. So, um, this edgy, witty, raw, and candid rant of expression is brought to you by the distinctive Dapper Dude. For the Dapper Dude that always looks good, can be found on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Also, this is www.gangsta, G-A-N-S-T-A dot glam, and that's Gangsta Glam, and they can be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, too, as well. This is a women's online boutique. You get, like, on both sites, uh, from 50 to, like, 80% off retail pricing, so go check them out. I can be found on IG at uh, Just Toy Talking Too Much, Miss Toy High, and Just Toy Written Expressions is my fan page. So let's get into this edgy, witty, raw, candy rant because um, I was, I had to stop myself. I was laughing. And so I like to do the funny ones, you know, like I'm just doing the real smart ones. And this, this edgy, witty, raw, candy rant is going to be short because I do talk too much. And it is called Your Vibe and Non-Toiletries are offensive to me. Um, do rest assured that it is, um, I might be getting a cast light because I like it organic. Again, I say I can do all this stuff because the studio is to the right of me, behind me. But I, I like having this this intimate form right now. So let's get into it. Um, oh, righty then. I do take um, MARTA. Like, I get on the train. That's the train system in Atlanta. Like, you know, um, New York, Chicago, Cali has one. The trains, you know, people sit and you have a lot of people that work and they will, you know, park and hop on the train because you stop all the traffic. Now, I can honestly say that I get home within 30 minutes in comparison to sitting in traffic for like an hour and 15 or 20 minutes driving home. And of course, you're saving gas. So I'm really, really big on not smelling like BS. I'm really good at that. I, 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 for some reason, I don't like flies buzzing around me because I smell. That part. And when you... Not only, you know, you ride the train, public transportation, first of all, you're smelling urine sometimes, and my nerves get shot. Please, 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 please. And my nerves get shot when I smell people that I know, that you know, that we both know, your hygienic areas. are not properly washed nor smelling good. And that is definitely a violation. The police has tickets for that. It's like you're breaking section code 2178.9. Like, you know, that's a ticket and that's a $500 ticket. When you come out in public smelling like a sack of granddaddy, I'm so cool. Now, 
I understand that there are homeless people that just to let they self go. And 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 they've just given up on life. They've just flushed their, you know, their whole existence down the toilet because they don't even want to sneak in a bathroom no more. They're not trying to wash a piece of clothing. They're not trying to uh, 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 get any toothpaste or soap. They don't want to go to the homeless shelter, and you know, and 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 get their, you know, their bodies, you know, in 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 check. They don't want to. You're stupid. I'm not really trying to be funny, but I'm just saying they have given up hope. This is it for them. This is the last stand. This is the last Bohegans. They really don't give a damn how they smell. And But when you get some that should know better, and this man, this, this, this woman was a woman, got up, and you could smell nothing but seeping anus juice wafting in the air. And I'm like, you didn't smell that when you got up. When you woke up this morning, you didn't smell yourself? <laughs> like, I know that you know that you smell. And you should be ashamed of yourself smelling like that. And getting on public transportation and offending me with the oxygen and all of these other wonderful people that are just wanting to get to work that have really coughed. They've, they've, they've combed their hair this morning. They brushed their teeth. They applied makeup. They, you know, showered or even just hit bird bath. They did and they put on cologne. They smell nice. They but you're hopping up here smelling like, oh my gosh, like shot in the dukes and dukes in the shot. And I'm really, it, 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 it really, it just really, it just really rads me to no end. And now I have to sit up here and I have to cover my face and everybody has to cover their face. Go ahead. Make my day. And there's nothing you can say like, you know, this is not, I, you, you must don't have no friends. Because or no husband, no man, no woman, no children, something, nobody that loves you to tell you that you're not smelling correct. Walking out this door, you need to go to the bathroom and check yourself. Because I know that you had to sit on a toilet this morning and you didn't smell that and you still put on your drawers and hopped on the train to offend all these good people. Houston? Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, we have a problem. That is me. <laughs> I gotta go. I know you guys are like, this is, she's off the chain. I'm just saying that, you know, it's a, it really is offensive when you step out and you are not step out ready. I didn't say you had to be fly. I just said step out ready. Like, you know, hook that up. This is just Toy Talking Too Much with another one of her edgy, witty, raw, and candid rants of expressions where we talk real talk, talking to you, talking to your friends. That 